Yo, 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 big kish back up in here. We about to go over the meaning behind Whitney's dance in the Not Like Us video. Really, this dance got, got real, a real deep meaning. I didn't see this video, but just going off the top of the dome, the Crip Walk and the Blood Walk, it kind of stems from like a uh, Native American tradition. You know what I mean? And you can see like in some old videos, they doing the same type of dance. But I don't know if that's where the Crips and Bloods get it from. You know what I mean? I'm, I ain't trying to overstep that. No pun intended. But we about to get into this video. Also, if you want to win a chance, if you want a chance to win 150 100 or $50, that's first, second, and third place giveaway, right? All you do is have to go to Instagram. Do not DM me. Only DM me if you want me to react to some videos. That's when you only DM me. Follow Big Kish, B-I-G-G-K-I-S-H, and comment on the last post. That'll automatically seal you in to, for the giveaway, right? Also, I said, I'm going to say this in the beginning. I said in the, in the last video, at the end of the video. Do not DM me telling me you need the giveaway money. I don't want to hear about your problems in your, in your life. I, I'm going to pray for you if you do have problems in your life. I also have problems in my life, just like all the other millions of people who have problems in their life. Do not DM me saying, oh, could I have the money? Uh, can you give me the money because I'm going through this? I'm going through that. I'm going through that. Everybody is going through something. I go through things. Everybody go through stuff. I said, I said, I told somebody that I was going to pray for them. They totally disregarded that and said they need that money. Do not think you're going to be able to bully me into giving you the giveaway uh, money. It's not going to work that way. These people out here, these supporters of this channel have subscribed. They have built this channel up. They've commented. They liked they did an amazing job uh to for uh they did an amazing job building this reaction channel up i am not going to overstep them for anybody if you're randomly picked okay cool but don't think you're going to dm me and saying oh i need you to give me that money because i'm going through this it don't work like that it do not work like that you know what i mean don't get me out of character i'm a nice guy and, you know, don't get me out of character. So, I'm sorry I had to do that, but I had to do that. Let's get to the video, y'all. You know I don't like holding y'all. Let's get, get, get it. In the record-breaking video, Not Like Us, one of the most artistic portions of the video was a scene in the living room where Whitney Alford, Kendrick Lamar's fiance, looks into the camera with her kids and K-Dot right by her side. By now, it should be known that she trolled Drake by wearing a wife beater in the scene. It's speculated that it was worn in response to the numerous times where Whitney Alford was mentioned by Drake with accusations of harm at the hands of Kendrick. They hired a crisis management team to clean up the fact that you beat on your queen. Keeping that in mind, alongside the fact she looked directly into the camera with her kids and K-Dot, and that signifies a family that is at the least well intact. But what might have been the most interesting part of this moment was when Whitney begins to perform a dance from a culture whose popularity would span over six decades. What is now to this day one of the most popularized urban street dances came from an origin of symbolism, which implications are the furthest you can be from peace the Crip Walk, and the Blood Walk. There is no way to talk about the Blood Walk and its history unless you talk about where it came from. The Crip Walk, whose popularity has continued to rise, has become the unofficial dance of Not Like Us, with fans taking to social media, sea walking to the classic diss track. But where did this dance come from? And how? Man, hey, when that beat play, it just make you want to do that specific dance. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, <laughs> you ain't even got to be from California. You just feel that energy from way on the west side. That, bro, that energy is so powerful. It just took over the whole earth, bro. I love it. Man. How did it make it from L.A. crime scenes all the way 
to daytime talk shows. In the late 60s, off the heels of the Black Panthers, two organizations that were formed in Southern LA that would later on become the primary face of crime were the Crips and the Bloods. They were initially created to protect their neighborhoods. The same organization who were formed to protect the neighborhood then turned the same neighborhoods into war zones. Both the Crips and the Bloods were formed as counterparts toward each other. And part of the ongoing war between the two was no different than McDonald's and Burger King. It was a <laughs> branding war. This branding war evolved into gang signs, colors, team logos, and even a dance. Do you remember the origin of it or where it comes from or anything like that? Yeah, the Crips. I, I, fig <laughs> I figured that. But I'm saying, do you remember who the first person was that you saw Crip walk? Crips. <laughs> In the early 70s, Robert Sugar Bear Jackson created a dance whose origins are a far cry from today's mainstream pop enjoyment of the dance. It was primarily created to establish that whatever was going on at the moment, whether it was a robbery, a fight, or even just a group gathering, that you were definitely in the presence of Crips. It ran adjacent to flat out gang signs and were part of what was called banging, which is simply establishing dominance of a person's set either by throwing up the set, asking any particular person where they're from, or by blood or crit walking. If you were caught doing it and were not affiliated, there would be consequences to pay. Which leads me to say, don't do this dance, crit walk or the blood walk, unless you're affiliated, because you never, never know. They feel that sea walk is a crit ritual, not a dance, and have no respect for those that sea walk and dance. A gang of girls crit walking this shit, woo. It's gonna get back hot, cause niggas is banging again. It's out here banging again. It's gonna get back hot. As the Crips grew, the I don't think he gonna go over it, but allow me to, um, allow me to show y'all what I was talking about, y'all. Allow me to show y'all what I was talking about right quick. Hold on. Let me just show y'all what I was talking about right quick. Um, okay. Six years. Let me see. I keep saying I'm going to react to that video. This is what I was talking about, y'all. It says, did the Native Americans invent the Crip Walk? This is what it will look like. I'm not saying that the Crips got it from here. I'm not saying that the Native Americans invented the Crip Walk. So the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. The way I look at things is like through this, a spiritual thing. You know what I mean? Like a, a people belonging to a people before they, they even know who they were. You know what I mean? That's the that's where I'm coming from. I just wanted to just uh get on this right quick. Check him out. Look how they look how they dancing, but they they don't call that the crit walk. And I don't know if the I'm I'm sh I'm, I'm probably sure that the Crips didn't know that they, you know that it was similar to these Native Americans. But what I'm saying is that what if this the same bloodline? You know what I'm saying? Like the same bloodline from these people and they got disconnected and they don't even know, you know what I mean? And they through the spirit, through the spiritual realm, they like they, you know, made it up again. But they just called it the crit walk. It's the same, it looked the same. Not this not exact same, but you know what I mean? Look at him. He was killing. Look, he killing. I just wanted to go over that. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, y'all can start that because I do a lot of, lot of digging in history, yo. You know what I mean? The dance also grew, prompting the Bloods to create one of their own that emulates certain aspects of the Crip Walk. Check it out. Though it carried similar meanings as the Crip Walk, its popularity would never match. DJ Quick a pioneer in both West Coast rap and the blood walk, explains the differences. It started with my nephew, Lil Rodney. He was playing around dancing. 
and everybody seen him doing it and they liked it. They called me. It's like, check it out, Dave, you need to see this. He came in the house and he started doing it. And I was like, oh, that's fly, you know? Let's tailor make it. Let's add some things to it, turn it into a routine. Maybe people will like it. So we busted it out at the um, at the show where you see us in the yellow shirts where Mossberg was there to uh, see the country club. People got a kick out of it. So we started doing it more and more. It was actually called the skip walk first. It evolved into the B walk when people start crip walking against us. And so it became a, it became a negative positive thing like it always does naturally. It's not like the Crip Walk where, Ooh, you know, it's like a gangbang dance and Frostberg was there though. He jumped just, off the stage with it. God dang. That's, oh my God. Yeah, y'all ain't peeped that. Hold on now. That, I like that right there. That was it. See the country club. Watch people this. People got a kick out of it. So we started doing it more That's and more. Right, I like it. It was actually called Watch the this. Skip Walk first. It evolved into the B Walk when people start Crip Walking against us. And so it became a, it became oh, a, I, Negative positive look, thing, look, like look, it look. always does naturally. <laughs> it's not like the Crip Walk where, he you know, it's like the a stage bang bang with dance, it. Sense. Even though we call it the B Walk, because we, you know, us being bloods and whatnot, it's Thank it's just a dance to us. You know, it's the C Walk, I think, snooping them, take it a little more, take it a little more serious as far as, you know, a neighborhood dance. Throughout the years in the 90s, there were many songs that would not only cater to but were created for the sole purpose of Crip Walking. Mm, they kill there us. would be one anthem that will rise above them all as the chosen melody, Corrupt's song, Sea Walk. Sea Walk, homie. Get your walk on. In its execution, but also in the street politics. Copyrights, we can't, you know, we can't play this. It once represented itself. A rolling 60s Crip would take this dance to the main stage and it would catch on like wildfire. Dub C. Oh, Dub yeah. Dub C really was the one that put it on front page. You know, he was the one that did it in all the videos. And, you know, he got his own little style where he hopped side to side, keep his knees together and moves and stuff. Not only throughout Southern California, but across America from house parties to club events, civilians would begin to crip walk amongst each that's, other. Uh, that's a little bow wow for y'all young ones. That's a little bow wow right there. But across America from house parties right to club events, civilians would begin to crip walk to kill amongst each other, even sea walk battles ensuing, to the point where there were more civilians doing the dance. But across America oh, I from see house some. parties to club events, civilians would begin to crip You see how culture, you see, you see the culture, the culture. You see, uh, the Bible say that the chosen people are the salt of the earth. They got all this flavor, right? And but their popularity goes throughout the whole earth, and everybody else starts to do it as well. You know what I mean? Walk and this is it's just like battle rap. When battle rap has started, now they got battle rap in China and Europe and everywhere else. But it started somewhere in New York and. Harlem and Brooklyn and all of that. You know what I mean? It start off small and then it spreads out. You know what I mean? Each other, even sea walk battles ensuing to the point where there were more civilians Serena. doing the dance than Crips themselves. I, I saw Bow Wow dance on the awards and he yeah, was pretty go. nice with it. You know, yeah. he was Bow pretty wow. nice with it. Nice with Bow Wow don't know nothing about no Cripping. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> it's just a dance, you know? It's a dance to him. But wait. Before we go too far in this video, you know I need you to do me one small favor. Apply pressure to that subscribe button. Hey, y'all apply true. pressure. You know what I'm saying? This content creator put in a lot of work. Moxie approved. He be dropping them bangers, bro. He drops those bangers. So y'all definitely go ahead and support. Moxie approved. I will put a link in the description. And did have a break moment in the mid-2000s where a West Coast legend would put out a warning to those who chose to crip walk with no affiliation. The message was direct, properly presented, and definitely calculated as Snoop would deliver this message on a track with the very man who made it popular, Dub C. A lot of y'all pretend to be, wanna see friends with me. In the 2003 track, In the Name of the Streets, Snoop would pass along this message. He would question the entire hip hop community on crip walking. What you doing, see walking? explaining that it's not just a dance, it's a way of living. It's 
it's not just a dance, it's a way of living. And flat out, you should not be crip walking if you are not a crip. Now if you're sleepwalking, you're best to see cripping. And that even applies to celebrities too. And that go for kids too, and R&B singer. Who quit crip walking if you ain't a gang banger? Man, I gotta stop taking these songs to heart because Bow Wow grew up up under Snoop Dogg and he was doing that that walk. You know what I'm saying? And he, like he said, he 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 wasn't banging. Bow Wow wasn't banging. And I'll be very he honest. He said with even you. kids too. I remember too. when Snoop made this song. I was in college. I had just learned to crip walk, and yes, <laughs> I had to stop crip walking. I was in LA. I never stopped. I, I did. Hey, let, let one of the beats later, come on. I'm doing it. The Crip Walk movement has become of what some would debate as big as the Crip movement itself, to where it could be seen anywhere from middle America to white suburban dance classes to even Asia and Africa. Today, there are even tutorials on this dance. Five, six, seven, eight, we going. Boom, boom, ha, and do. Ha, tune, ha. Easy. You got one more step and we're done. With Those are some nice uh forces. Them joints. Is, I like the color on them joints. Easy. You got one more step and we're done with this crib walk. I mean, Even I'm Snoop gonna... himself has now taken part in the commercialization of the dance, showcasing it with other celebrities. I mean, you can't get mad at some shit for growing. You know what I'm saying? You got to respect yeah. the game. You know, because you didn't create it, so it grew to you. So you got to respect the game and be happy that it's passing on and it's getting universal exposure. And people actually want to know what the meaning of it is. Since the 2000s, the B-Walk has seen a surge from newer artists doing the walk. Rappers such as Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, and YG have been seen doing the dance. which brings back older days when artists would battle with this dance as seen here with DJ Quick in Dub C. <laughs> TDE artist J-Rock even has a well-known anthem for the dance. <laughs> Through the years, the blood walk has incredibly aligned with the crip walk to where people begin to go online to argue which one was done by Whitney. Man, but the I don't answer think it, it was ain't in no the steps. I don't it know. It should man. be pointed out that most of today's version of both dances has not only departed from his brutal background, but also the execution has changed. You're seeing, you're seeing like basically the hybrid of Dub C's Crip Walk going across country. But if you look at some cats prior to Dub C, they walk different and stuff. Done in its purest form, other enemy gang names could be seen crossed out on the ground, whereas today you rarely see this form. Whitney's version contains no crossing out of enemy names, which gives it less bravado. But since the reasons behind this scene is known to the masses, I heard that one of them little kids might be day free. It could be perceived just as threatening. As far as it being legit in this situation, of course, I'm not a crip or blood, but when it comes to a woman, affiliation is still key. And when I say affiliation, it could be a brother, cousin, or boyfriend that's a part of this. And whether that's known or not doesn't matter. It's still disrespectful. And I say rightfully so. I must add to this, Drake made a habit of using the term crody which is a Canadian crip way of saying Brody. Yeah, that's my cat's name is Crody. We have a cat as well? Crody? Crody. 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 You got to say it like that, though. This is the thing, man. People, you know, uh, people capitalize off the culture. They capitalize off culture, where, where things were invented just to make light of certain situations family gatherings everybody laughing and having fun you have you know a certain people that don't have that and they would come in take it and make money off of it you know what i mean that's 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 the way that's how it's been going you know crody crody yeah exactly thank you All cheers right. cheers to crody which has been a term Kendrick himself has used throughout this battle. Family Crody, talk about me and my family Crody. Someone go bleed in your family Crody. You're gonna get something called the word pressed. Press is the definition of 
banged on, disrespected, violated. Taking this information in, I highly doubt that whatever form this dance was done by Whitney, the message I would not consider playful. No, I ain't seeing what I'm seeing. Did she just bang on this nigga? Mm. She banged on this nigga. She banged on this nigga. But regardless on it being possibly the first drill dance in one of the country's most popular dances surviving six decades in American street culture, its popularity can never erase its monstrous origins. But Whitney's dance was not about popularity at all, but could be interpreted as taking this dance back to its roots. But thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this short documentary, I'm sure you enjoy some of my other short and long form documentaries that you can find right here. Yeah, we love all your videos, bro. Yeah, please go subscribe to Moxie Approved. I will leave a link in the, in the description. He put in some hard work to do his videos and they're very, very great videos. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. And, uh about how the Native Americans used to do the same dance, same dance. And here's the thing. The reason why I bring that up is because everybody think that black people, all black people was brought over from Africa. There's a lot of history um, that's pointing at America being Africa. And there are more pyramids over here in America than there is in Africa. Black people been over here, you know what I mean? Um, and that's just to say, that's just to point out the lies that we have been told um, throughout our whole life, you know what I mean? Everything, we gotta, we gotta tear down and just start to relearn a lot of things, you know what I mean? Because it's not what we've been told. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. Big Kish, signing out, I'm gone.